Hello friends, in today's video, we shall discuss the theory of externalities. One of the core principles of environmental economics is the theory of externalities. Externalities are basically positive or negative impacts affecting a third party who can be a producer, consumer or even a community outside the market transaction. If the impact to the third party is positive, it is a positive externality and if the impact to the third party is negative, it is a negative externality. For example, if our local government decides to install street lights and one of the lamp posts happens to be installed in front of our house, then we won't have to switch on our house's porch lights. This is a positive impact of the activity undertaken by the local government and is creating a positive externality to that household. In the case of negative externality, say for instance, suppose that some people are waiting for a bus in the bus stop and a person standing near them starts smoking. Since the people are standing in close vicinity to the smoker, they are also inhaling the toxic smoke from the cigarette which causes difficulty in breathing. This is a negative externality arising from the consumption activity of that smoker. Similarly, we can see lots of examples representing positive and negative externality in our daily life. For instance, if your neighbor has a well-maintained garden, then the scenic beauty that you enjoy is a positive externality. Similarly, education. An educated population leads to more informed voters which means better government for everyone. More educated population tend to mean lower crime rates and also more educated population lead to higher labor productivity. Again, if solar panels are installed in all homes, it reduces the carbon emissions from electricity generation from other sources such as coal, fossil fuels and helps to an extent to reduce its impact on climate change. So these are all examples of positive externality. When it comes to negative externality, say for instance, the plastic waste from our household if incinerated openly will cause our neighbors suffocation and breathing problems due to the toxic smoke emitted from burning plastics. Now this is a negative externality. Similarly, industries causing various forms of pollution causes heavy damage to the living beings and the environment which is also a negative externality. In basic market analysis of a product, the demand and supply curves are represented as shown here. The supply curve shows the marginal cost incurred by the firm for producing one additional unit of the good and the demand demand curve shows the marginal benefits enjoyed by the consumer for consuming one additional unit of that good. The intersection of the marginal benefit curve and the marginal cost curve gives the equilibrium price and quantity as in any market equilibrium. This equilibrium represents economic efficiency as it maximizes the total benefits from the market as there are no externalities present in this market. But in the real world, externalities are present which is why markets are never economically efficient, rather they are in efficient but an inefficient market can be made efficient by internalizing the externality, which means the benefits arising from the positive externality as well as the cost arising from negative externality need to be considered or accounted for. That is what is meant by internalizing the externality. Now, if it is a negative externality, the cost incurred by the society from the damages needs to be reduced. Now, this is done by imposing tax on the price of the product by the government that is causing the negative externality. So, such a tax is termed as Pigovian tax, named after Arthur Pigu. It is a per unit tax equal to the external damage caused by an activity. Say, for example, production of any product by industries emits heavy amounts of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. So, Pigovian tax will be imposed on the firms for per ton of carbon dioxide emitted into the atmosphere. Thus, if more output is produced, then more carbon dioxide will be emitted and hence more tax will have to be paid by the firms. In this way, the cost of the damages created by causing pollution is internalized through taxation, thereby forcing the firms to decrease the generation of such negative externalities. On the other hand, if it is a positive externality, the benefits enjoyed by the society needs to be increased for which the government can provide subsidies either to the producer thereby reducing their production costs or to the consumers thereby reducing the cost of purchase. For example, we know that the production 
installation of solar panels incur high cost now if the government provides subsidies to the producers then their actual cost of production will decrease as a part of the cost is paid by the government through subsidies this incentivizes them to produce more solar panels similarly if the government provides subsidies to the consumer then their actual cost of purchasing the solar panel will decrease as a part of the cost is given by the government to the consumers through subsidies so this again incentivizes the consumers to install more solar panels in this way the benefits created by installing solar panels is internalized through subsidies thereby encouraging them to increase the positive externality earlier we saw that the supply curve represents the cost to the society and the demand curve represents the benefits enjoyed by the society generally the costs and the benefits can be classified into two categories private costs and benefits and social costs and benefits which are also termed as external costs and benefits private costs and benefits fall upon the consumer or the firm involved in the consumption or production activity now private costs and benefits can again be divided into two private marginal cost and private marginal benefit private marginal cost is incurred by a firm for producing one additional unit of a good or service so it is nothing but the usual marginal cost of a firm that we see in the theory of production private marginal benefit is enjoyed by a consumer from the consumption of an additional unit of a good or service now social or external costs and benefits fall upon the society as a whole and is not accounted by one consumer or firm involved in the transaction now these costs are nothing but the externalities these costs are again divided into two social marginal cost and social marginal benefit social marginal cost includes private marginal costs and any additional costs imposed on the society by producing an additional unit of a good or service say for instance the producer of a toy factory incurs marginal cost for each additional toy produced each extra toy produced creates negative externalities in the form of say air pollution noise pollution transportation of the toys to the market causing traffic congestion etc so the production cost is borne by the firm and all these external costs are borne by the society and this is an example of social marginal cost social marginal benefit includes private marginal benefit and any additional benefits enjoyed by the society by producing or consuming an additional unit of a good or service suppose that there is a public park in the town with lots of trees if one more plant sapling is planted it will eventually grow into a big tree and will provide benefits such as a much cleaner air scenic beauty and shade to the visitors so these external benefits are enjoyed by the society as a whole and is an example of social marginal benefit if you like the video do subscribe to my channel and share the videos to maximum thank you